This is Build Your Difference, a podcast created by Blue Artists, a brand platform with one goal, to help great visionaries like you build impressive brands. Every month, we'll bring you insightful tips, knowledge, and compelling stories from successful entrepreneurs and the Blue Artists team on how to create and market a winning brand that does more than just launch a new product or service. It starts an ongoing conversation because you're not just making a brand, you're making a difference. Let's start building. About it is, you know, Brand Desk is, is, is extremely rewarding. In fact, um, on our uh, on our website, when, when we launch, you'll see that the, the sort of the short way, the elevator pitch to how we describe Brand Desk is a rewarding way to build together. Okay a rewarding way to build together. So <laughs> actually let me um that's that's how I remember it, but I think I think we might we might have like sort of fine oopsies fine tuned that elevator pitch a little bit. Let me bring it up just to just so I can see if I if I uh hit the nail on the head with that. Let's see here. A rewarding way to build together. I'm pulling it up on the on the site. All right, let's see. Okay, ha, here it is. It's a little bit more tweaked, but let me let me let me hear what you think about this. A rewarding way for visionaries to expand their team and fulfill their mission. Nice. That's good. Yeah. A rewarding way for visionaries to expand their team and fulfill their mission. So so that's that's how we see it. That that's how we see it. And the reason I say rewarding is because for every person that that a client introduces into Brandes to collaborate on a project, we're going to reward that client. We're going to reward that that client with cash. Um, in fact, everything that a client does on Brandes rewards them with cash. And <laughs> when I say rewarding, I literally mean rewarding. And it's not just clients; it's <laughs> it's guides, producers, and artists. All everything that can be done in Brandes has uh, we 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 kind of gamified the whole the whole idea of um of 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 building a brand so you know we recognize that there are certain sort of tasks that need to get completed or that need to be done in order to effectively collaborate and we want to make sure that every one of those tasks provides you with a reward of some kind whether it's a whether it's some points um or uh or well actually it's all points but different values of points and as those points accumulate they become cash rewards and um so every so we understand look every time a client says hey you know i want to bring two or three of my team members into brand us to collaborate on this logo they're they're doing us a favor they're inviting more people into brand us so why shouldn't we reward them why shouldn't we we should and and we do and 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 a client can earn not just activity points for doing that, and and that translates into cash. But they also, uh, as they earn more and more points, they they increase their ranking, and as they increase their ranking, they get more robust, more uh, powerful uh, financing options. So the more a client is engaged on the Brand Desk platform and really using it to fulfill their mission. The more, not only the more money they're going to earn on Brandesk, but also the more money they're going to save, because we're going to continuously provide more and more uh, 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 robust and very competitive financing options. Whether that means increased payment plans, lower uh, down payments, uh, more service credits. Uh, to provide discounts, there, there's just there's an entire sort of ecosystem of benefits and rewards that we are constantly dishing out to clients as basically a thank you, as as gratitude for being engaged on the platform. And what I, you know, how I see it is building your brand the responsible way. Because I really, you know, I, I got to tell you, and I'm going to speak totally honestly about this, what. I, as as much as I like the online marketplace of Fiverr and of uh, Upwork, I think they kind of do a disservice to um, to to the kind of integrity of really building something special 
on uh, you know for for your business or for your brand. And what I mean by that is what I mean by that is the when I say integrity, I mean the idea of true collaboration and the idea of of uh, working together on the foundation that we are going to create something special, okay? Not just, you know, I want to spend as little as possible. And, and you know, here's the mentality, okay? You want to build something special, but you go onto a platform like that and, you, you know, maybe you're budget conscious and you're thinking, okay, okay, oh my God, I got to get this logo <laughs> done, but I only have... I only have a hundred dollars to spend. I've got to find someone under a hundred dollars. And so, and so, you know, all the good artists, of course, they're charging well over a hundred dollars. So now you're like, okay, I know I can't get a good artist. So that means if I want to get this done on this platform, I have to reduce the the vision that I have into something that can fit within the price range that the platform, well, you know, that people are competing at yeah. on the platform. Does but, that make sense? Yeah, yeah, and sorry to cut you off because it makes me think. Um, I was sent a um, um, what do you call it? Upwork had sent me a notification of a job that they recommended me for. It was someone looking for. I don't remember if it was working on a song or I forget the actual job. But just reading the description, I'm I saw that and that's going to be hours and hours, if not days, of work. Mm-hmm. And they wanted about they wanted all that done for about ten or fifteen dollars. No kidding. No, no. It, I can't even. Well, I, I know I know food. I know Grubhub <laughs> delivery people who make more than that. Okay, delivering a sandwich from Subway. Unbelievable. And and it, we mentioned this before about how how difficult it is to know what. The, the value of what you're asking for. Right, right. Both from both perspectives, right. you know. I imagine this person could be someone who has never been involved in in intensive audio work or making a song. They might expect or think that, well, if you're a pro, you can go inside whatever studio you've got and knock this out in 30 minutes, and it just doesn't work that way. Maybe if I had a team of 20 people right then and there, you know, but... Just and that's I get a number of those that come through. Oh, I need, you know, a project that's going to amount to 20 hours of work or 15 hours and or or half a week or weeks worth of work. And um, I need this done for 20 bucks. Well, (laughs) sorry. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) You know, yeah, that's Um, a that's a huge that's a huge problem. And I think you. I think you articulated it really well when you said that the, the challenge is understanding the value of the work from both perspectives. I mean, look, it's the client's prerogative to get them the best value that they can. When I go to the store, when I go to the grocery market, the super, the supermarket, the, the grocery store, um, thank God those are still open. Uh, or, <laughs> <laughs> so, or, you know, when I, if I'm shopping online on Amazon or something like that, you know, I am looking for the best value. Make no mistake about it. I am looking for the highest quality at the lowest price. I can't get my mind out of that way of thinking. It's just the way sure. it is. Um, so I can't. But there's. Sorry. But okay. There wait, 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 wait. Let a... me let me finish the thought. Let me finish. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. Go, ahead. Go ahead. I can't blame some. You know, I can't blame customers for wanting value, and I also can't blame artists for not for not. Un- knowing their own value when they are creating a, a, a profile on a marketplace that is not only charging them to, to submit a bid, but is also incentivizing them to, to get to lower their price, lower their price, lower their price, lower their price, lower their price. Otherwise, you're not going to get any work. And if you don't get any work, it's going to be more expensive for you to apply to get work. Right. I can't. Like, and, I just, and what that... What that does for for a freelancer is if you keep having to lower your rates constantly to where let's say you start off at 200 a project now you're down to 100 then you go to 50 20, you know to to reach back up to that if you're if all your work is now at 20 dollars per project let's say, then to get back to that 200 level or higher, 
think of how many $20 projects you have to pile onto yourself to get back to that point, you right. know? And, 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 it, uh, and it is more, it is more difficult to like, if you've established a relationship at a certain price point, mm -hmm. it, it is difficult to sort of, mm -hmm. You know, you bring that up, you know, over time. I mean, it can it be done, of course, and it can be done by way of, of trust, uh, by way of a relationship and by way of um, uh, increasing value. So it is possible, but it it is incredible. I mean, you're lit. It's like you earned that relationship. Why should you have to every single time, you know, have to sort of justify your value? You know, uh, th to me that there's a big there's a there's a big well, problem with that in terms of integrity. Yeah, yeah. And, and when you got talking about this topic, it had me thinking. Um, <laughs> apparently, this is pick on Upwork Day. <laughs> uh, you know, of all the good things that they provide, they're in it to make a business for themselves and make a profit for themselves. You know, they're not necessarily there to give your efforts in building a brand or building a business much of a boost. Part of that is their market is just so saturated, mm -hmm. you know, there's just too many clients, too many freelancers, too many jobs on offer that not everyone who's on there can get most of the pie. Right. And so they're in it for a profit, of course, and there's just too much saturation. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and I know if you dig on their site, you can find helpful tips about how to present your profile, how to win more gigs, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But I don't always feel that their primary focus is on helping you in terms of a freelancer, helping you really grow your business through them. Now you could, you might, right? Um, but if I were, you know, I would say at the very least half my clientele comes on their site, half comes from outside. And if I relied just on Upwork clients, I don't know that I could get it to grow in the way that it's growing. Um, does that, am I making, making sense? Oh, you, you yeah, I mean? no, you're, you're making plenty of sense. And, and I, I totally, I hear what you're saying. And I think that that's just, a, that's sort of a natural mm. challenge that comes with, like you said, like with saturation. I mean, there's just so many people and it's only going to get worse. I mean, this COVID-19 situation is, is really is really forcing people to find ways to work online. Yeah. And so, I mean, if you don't if you don't think this is going to cause a boom in the online uh, online gig economy, then you've mm -hmm. got another thing coming because this really I mean, this is really a sort of milestone pivotal moment. And uh, gosh, I wish we I wish at the time that COVID-19 hit. I wish that we were already launched for Brand Desk yeah. because this would have been incredible. But, but it, yeah. the timing has just hit in such a way where we yeah. were at the tail end of our development. This thing hits and now we've got to figure out, are we going to rush and launch early or how are we going to do this? And so we're working that out uh, and we're going to make the best decision for everybody. I know that because there's a lot of people that want, you know, that want to, to begin working on Brand Desk. Um, yeah. But we also don't want to sort of you know, compromise the quality of our product. But but all that being said, um, you know, there is definitely space in the gig economy for something like Brand Desk. I, I... Thanks for listening to this episode of Build Your Difference. If you'd like to learn more about how Blue Artists can help you develop a distinguished brand that inspires and engages a growing audience, then please visit us at www blue-artist.com and be sure and subscribe to our monthly podcast for the latest tips and trends in brand development and marketing. And remember, you're not just making a brand, you're making a difference. Start building yours today 